Well, I'll get this started. Uh, my name is Roger Williams. I uh, serve in the U.S. Congress, District 25. I've served representing Fort Hood for the last 12 years. It's a great honor. Uh, I'm also the chairman of the Small Business Committee in, in the U.S. Congress. Uh, and uh, glad to be here and glad to welcome uh, uh, Secretary Guzman, who is chairs the SBA, and uh, uh, here to Texas. And she's a Texan, so she's kind of home right now. But uh, we have been here today to uh, talk to veterans ab about our Boots and Business uh, initiative that we have uh, for soldiers that are transitioning and want to get into business. Uh, the SBA plays a huge part in, in that if they choose to do that. Uh, and we were here and got to see uh, some of the classroom initiatives they have going on. Uh, and they've got great ideas on what they want to do, uh, which to me shows us the greatness of this country, uh, where young people and anybody can decide they want to start a business and they can take a risk and get a reward. And uh, we've heard from them today and they've heard from uh, Secretary Guzman and myself about how uh, the opportunities are out there. And just so all of you know how, how, how the Secretary and I relate, uh, she's in the in, in the in the Biden administration appointed by the president. I'm in Congress elected by the people, and our committees work together. Uh, and I think, as I said today, I hope and I think that this is a good example how Washington can get things done in a bipartisan way, uh, that which which we're doing today. So uh, we'll be glad to answer your questions. But first of all, I introduce uh, Secretary Guzman. It's good to have you in the great place, Fort Hood. Thank you so right. much. Thank you, Chairman, Congressman Williams. It's a pleasure to be here uh, at Fort Hood. Obviously, the SBA that's focused on the American dream of business ownership wants to make sure that that's accessible to all, and especially uh, our, our military service members. Our Boots to Business program is one of the great examples of how we can transition uh, these, uh, these great servicemen and women to a life of entrepreneurship. They have the incredible grit and determination, as the Chairman and I saw today in talking to these bright, uh, future, hopeful entrepreneurs uh, in the SBA. SBA is about helping them, giving them the funding that they need and the technical assistance and uh, learn how to grow their revenues in the marketplace. So it's been a, an honor to, to be here and learn a little bit more about the great work Fort Hood is doing. You know, since Boots to Business started in 2013, they've trained over 1,800 um, of their uh, military service members in this program, uh, you know, creating and contributing to our great economy. So it really speaks to the great partnership the Department of Defense has with the SBA and the Veterans Administration to ensure sure that we have that pathway in the federal government. Well, I'll just add one thing before we get started, too. This uh, uh, legislation now is going through, uh, go going through the steps. It's bipartisan, and I feel that the, when it gets to the president's desk, he'll sign it, too, because it's, it's good for our veterans uh, and it's good for our country. Uh, make sure we get everybody working because the greatest asset we have are these kids and so forth. So we're excited about, about working with them. So I guess with that being said, we'd be glad to take any of your questions. Well, I mean, this is, uh, of course, the largest uh, military base. We're really excited to be here. The you know, Army, in particular, uh, is a strong, uh, you know, has a strong representation within our Boots to Business program. So we're glad to be here to make sure that we emphasize how important it is that many of them take this next step and jump into entrepreneurship if that's their dream and their pathway, and that uh, that there are tools and resources to help them get there either immediately or, or along the way as they build towards um, developing their business plan and financing it. Etc. So we're, uh, you know, it's really important that we continue across the country uh, to support our veterans, and this is just one of the shining examples of uh, of an installation, a military installation that's committed uh, to making sure that there are pathways in transition that are meaningful uh, to the military service members. Well, and also Fort Hood has a reputation of supplying a workforce. I, I'm I'm a, I'm a business owner, small business owner for 50 years up Fort Worth and Weatherford, but Fort Fort Hood. Uh, has a reputation supplying great workforces. We've got we've had job fairs down here. People know this. And how can you not want to come to a place? Because that's the great place, right? You got to come to the great place. So we're glad you you, you you guys chose to come here and showcase the great things that we have going at uh, Fort and the manpower we have. Adam Schumer, News Twenty Five. What do you want people who've never heard of this program to know about it and how they can get involved? Uh, well, what I would uh, add, if I could, uh, 
Mr. Chairman, that you know we have, of course, booths to business that's available to current military service members on installations, but it's also reboot, uh, business to business, uh, boots to business reboot, where any of our veterans out there can come back and get the technical assistance they need to figure out how to launch their business. And uh, the SBA also has veterans business outreach centers. Uh, we have a certification program if you want to do business with the federal government that's specifically for our veterans. Uh, and just know that uh, the SBA is really committed to making sure that all of our veterans out there can get the support they need and all of our entrepreneurs. Of course, we have uh, programs available to anyone aspiring uh, who just recently started up or is one of those business owners that's looking to grow uh, and continue to sustain. So uh, go to SBA.gov and get some support. Well, it's broad-based, too, because the SBA can help. I mean, we were with some veterans today, right? And, you know, is, they all told us what they wanted to do. Some of them were landscapers. Some were child care, auto, automotive repair, a hot shotting. I mean, you name it. And there wasn't, there wasn't a career that they wanted in, 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 in get themselves involved in that the SBA can't help them with. So that was the message, that we're here to, we're here to help. Uh, not at all. I mean, for our for our veterans, our, our current military service members, of course, can take advantage being on an installation of some of our great programs. Uh, but in addition, in the community, we continue to have a presence. Uh, in fact, uh, uh, we are looking to expand our veterans business outreach centers to continue to grow this great program so that uh, veterans out there have an opportunity to, to come in with people who know what they've experienced, know the skill sets that they already come to the table with, uh, having served in our great military. And so we, um, you know, we're continuing to try to offer people no matter what stage they are in their business no matter what their background no matter where they're from we want to make sure we can support them that's the purpose of this federal program yeah it's never too late to start a business i can tell you as an entrepreneur myself uh it's all about today and there's so many opportunities out there right now uh when you look at uh, how the world has changed so much there's new careers but there's also standard careers we talked a lot about plumbers welders carpenters we need these people all the time and we don't, we can never have too many of them. And frankly, in, whether it be in Texas or anywhere else in America, uh, the, the, the loop of uh, entrepreneurship and uh, an economy is not completed without those kind of positions. A lot of people in there want to do that too. So it's never too late to get started, never. Well, it's it, it's 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 uh, uh, about our uh, veterans and allows them to uh, uh, be aware of businesses that uh, they could they they could associate themselves and get help and be and be part of to cr to create their own business. It just opens up opportunities. It says that uh, you know the SBA is there to help. It opens the door. Uh, it's bipartisan legislation, as I said, which we don't have a lot in Washington right now. But I think it'll go through both houses. I think the president will sign it. It would have happened last year, but we ran out of time, uh, and so forth. So it's, it's it's back in it's back in the system. But 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 it, it, it tells our veterans that there there's assistance out there, uh, there's help out there. No question is too trite, no question is too hard. The SBA and those around can make that happen and help you. Do you have a legislation number on it? No, we can give it to you. Okay. Well, nationwide, over 180,000 members of the armed service have gone through this incredible program. Our veterans are large contributors to our economy, creating jobs, as so many of our entrepreneurs out there. Um, over 2 million veteran businesses around the country in all industries. Uh, we want to make sure, uh, obviously, we continue to serve them and level up uh, and adapt to the marketplace just like they've had to uh, in the last few years and, and continuously provide these programs and the capital um, that they need to to launch, survive, and thrive into the future. And I think one thing uh, that everybody needs to know, especially you all, is that 50%, uh, uh, over 50% of the workforce and over 50% of the payroll is small businesses. Is every one of these people we're talking to today that will begin that, b b begin that journey and those today, but half payroll, half the workforce generated by small business in this country. That's why it's so important we keep filling the, the, the supply so we don't run out and, and these are people that are you know two and three and four employees 
And that's what, that's what makes our country great. Again, these people are willing to take risk if they can get reward. And that's what America is about. That's the greatness of our country. And that's what we're continuing to remind them. And you guys are doing a great job. I think we're doing a great job. And together, it's going to be more jobs. Okay? Thank you. That's all. Thank you all for being here today. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you.